what is up guys welcome back to the channel so as you can see the view is different in here you know um i got a new camera new camera setup and i want to give a shout out to my buddy alex his youtube channel is car hauler life i'm going to drop a link of his channel in the description make sure you check him out um, he puts out a lot of great content does the same thing i do he's really informative but i don't think he gets enough credit for what he does man his edits are on point and um just give him i want to give him a shout out man he uh hooked me up with this camera and he saw me struggling with my gopro hero 8 it's you know it's an old camera um and it was just freezing i was having problems with it and he gave me this pocket too and he's like man give this a try i'm pretty sure you're gonna like it so um you know it has a wireless mic i can drive and talk to you guys i think it's awesome it's amazing it has a, a gimbal uh stabilizer all that good stuff so but yeah check out alex in his, in his channel and um yeah guys i'm gonna head over to pier 80 we're gonna be loading six pickup trucks and one suv so i have seven units in total and i kind of want to show you guys the loading process on that it's a little bit different than uh my previous video on six pickup trucks just because i have an extra unit so uh i kind of want to show you guys how that's done so stay tuned and i'll see you guys in a bit so we are here at pier 80 um just walking around looking for my cars and i have one at bi6 so let me show you right here so this is bi this is row bi right here it's a pretty cool place there's a big ship right here as you can see a bunch of cranes and stuff so this is bi row bi then i just gotta count i'll count from here one two three four five six so let's see if it's this one right here it's usually i just usually read the vin numbers on the maroon sticker that's not it that's not it all right so if it's not here it should be back there what it is guys just a guessing game you know just walk around try to find your vehicle let's see all right here we are 2451 so this is my truck right here it's a GMC I guess I'm going to a GMC dealer a lot of guys loading out today so I'm just gonna do a little walk around real quick just make sure it has no scratches or anything no, yeah, because the last dealer I went to over there in Vegas, man, they went all out just checking these cars. Like, I was literally there for an hour because these guys were checking cars. Uh, they were going, like, real deep into it, so just want to make sure. I didn't, I, didn't get, I didn't get any damage or anything like that, so. But I uh, just want to make sure there's no damage or anything. Let's check the wheels. They're all dirty, man. This is the, the thing. These cars get transported over here, and then they sit here for months. And they just collect dust and stuff and get real dirty. But I like making sure there's no uh, no scratches or anything on it before I take this and load it on the truck. Yeah, it looks good. One thing I do want to check is the roof. That's one thing you always want to check. Check these uh, these door trims right here. Right here, these door trims, you always want to check that, make sure they're not chipped or anything like that. And then we want to check the roof. Mm, it's, a, it's a bird shit. All right. No scratches. All right, we're good. Yeah, because uh, I went to uh, the dealer I went to go deliver in Vegas. Um, this last load I did, was this driver there and had a... Uh, he had a, 
like scuff marks on the roof. It wasn't terrible. It was like something that could be buffed out. But uh, they were like, oh yeah, we got to put it on your on your BOL. And you know, obviously, once they put it on the BOL, you're screwed, man. So um, you got to try to have a clean BOL in order in order not to get charged for something. So, but they were trying to charge him. For, they were trying to put it on his BOL, and it's like it was something that could be buffed out. Nothing terrible. So uh, they were just being you know anal about it. So yeah, we're gonna grab this car and grab the rest of my car in the stage next to my truck. So see you guys in a bit. All right, guys. So I have the six truck staged already, and I walked all the way back here to grab my last unit, which is the small SUV that I have to put behind the cab. And unfortunately, my luck, this car has a nail in the tire right there. Which sucks, I mean, I called the broker and um, I asked for a replacement and they're gonna give it to me. I'm not gonna take it like that. I mean, I can I can probably write it up. I can call them out here and have them check it out or whatever, but I just don't wanna deal with that. You know, um, it, the tire was actually flat. They came to put air in it. And when I, when I rolled it forward, I saw the nail there. So yeah, I'm not gonna deal with this. I'm just gonna go ahead and replace it because they have replacement vehicles. And I mean, look at, look at how many blazers they got here. This is it's just full so um, I'm just gonna go ahead and replace it stage it next to the truck and then we'll go from there I'm gonna set everything up the ramps and stuff and you know we'll get to loading all right guys so we got our car staged already and I'll show you right here so we got one two over here three four five six and then we got our replacement blazer this one does not have a flat tire so we're good all right so i'm gonna pull the ramps and stuff and get everything all set up get everything all set up for you guys and we're gonna start loading this thing all right so be right back all right guys we're gonna go up with the first one now stack this thing up Man, this is pretty cool. I can talk to you guys. You guys can kind of see the view of what's going on. I'm really, really liking this camera. All right. So now we're just gonna back her on up, straighten it up with the ramps. Just like that, straight up. Now we just want to ease her on into the pockets, nice and slow, just like that. Set it in park, hit the e-brake. And that's what you want. All right guys, so we got this one up here already, on here, and we got four wheel straps on it. So with these trucks, you always wanna open your pockets, your drop pockets over here. You wanna open them all the way up. Wheel strap over the tire. And now we are gonna go load this one right here. All right guys, so we got the truck up on number one right now. We got four wheel straps on it. Um, and now we're gonna go and load number two over here. So I'm gonna drop this deck all the way down so I can work from the bottom. And then after I get all four wheel straps on that, we're gonna load the blazer back here. All right, so uh, let's get to this.
All right, guys, so now we got four wheel straps on this truck right here. As you can see, nice and tight. Now we're gonna go up with it and get the, and uh, back the blazer on back uh, behind the cab, so. Let's go up with it. like that. All right, we're going to grab the blazer and put it back here. on it yet uh, I want to load the top of the trailer first and then I'll just start from the blazer all the way back with my straps but before we do that we have to open this truck package right here and I'll show you this truck package right here you want to open that because the back tires of this truck are gonna fall in here so I'm gonna open this side too So now we're gonna drive it on up and then the back tire is gonna fall in here. All right, so that helps a lot. All right guys, let's get to it. Uh, I'm gonna throw these two trucks on there and then we'll start strapping from the blazer all the way back. And then we're gonna uh, we're gonna lift our decks and then start loading the bottom and that's it, we're done. So let me get this done and I'll get back to you guys. Right, guys so we got the blazer behind the bunk we got the two trucks up top uh four wheel straps now we're gonna raise our decks all the way up and uh we're gonna put this one and that one in the bottom so um just want to show you guys over here so we got the wheel straps on there right here you can see it back here wheel strap we got four wheel straps on on each vehicle right here and then Got this truck up here, nice and tight. So uh, like I said, now we're gonna raise this up and we're gonna put both of the other trucks down here and uh, four strap them. I got the truck package open. I don't know if you guys seen my uh, previous video loading trucks. This is a truck package right here. So you, uh, it has these handles, it has a handle right here, handle right here and a pin under it. So you pull this open, you slide it open this way you slide that one open that way. And then the, uh, the truck that goes back here in the bottom actually tucks in, in that package there. So you guys will see now, uh, once I get the trucks down there, you see how it works, all right? All right guys, so we're gonna raise the decks. 
We'll start going up here. And then we'll go up in the middle a little bit. And go up in the back. Just like that. Bring her all the way up. And before I go all the way up, I want to lock these pins over here. There's a pin right here for the truck package. Just lock all four pins. Now we're going to go continue going up, all the way up. We got this truck on now now we're gonna drive this one uh, out the back and secure it four straps and then we're gonna lower our decks and uh, we'll go from there right Guys, so we got all four wheel straps on this unit right here and then the one at the back I did frame uh, frame tie just because um, I didn't want to you know I didn't want it bouncing up and down so I'll show you guys right here so I frame strapped it straight to the frame pulled it down and she's tucking a little bit so now we are gonna lower all the decks down and uh, we're almost done, guys. All right, guys, so we are finally done already. Um, just want to show you guys what it looks like. Back there, she is looking good. Let me turn the camera around real quick. So we are currently sitting at 14 feet tall up here, 14 right here, 13, 11 right here, and then 14 out the back. And there's no hard tying. I didn't, I didn't hard tie anything. Uh, just all wheel strapped. Um, I mean, you don't have to run. Uh, so low here in California, you can run 14.5. I've seen 14.5 bridges out here are really tall. So um, you can just kind of wheel strap everything and just, you know, go with the flow and, but it looks really, really good. So this is the truck package right here. I'll show you. So you see how the roof 
sits in here. Let me climb up here real quick and show you guys. So see. And that's plenty of clearance between both uh, both cars up, you know, the one up top and the one up bottom. Looks really good. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Um, as you can tell, this is an old video. It was about three months ago. And uh, I mean, you can tell by my beard. My beard was way longer. But um, yeah, guys, I had this video saved on my camera for quite a while. and. I decided to edit it and put it out for you guys. Um, this past weekend, I was over at the 75 Chrome Shop show and I had a lot of you guys walk up to me and ask me about the channel and YouTube and you know why I've been slacking. I've just been really busy with work, guys. You know, I get home, I just wanna spend time with the family and stuff, so. Um, you know, I'm gonna try to keep posting content for you guys. Uh, I appreciate the love and support. All the kids that watch this is crazy, man. I was at the show and all these kids, you know, will come up to me and say, hey, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a huge fan and this and that. I, I'm just so, I'm so amazed by everybody that watches me and, and learns, you know, and that's what I'm here for. I'm, I'm here to show you guys how it's done. So, like I said, I appreciate all the love and support. Um, I'm hoping to uh, get another video out soon. So, um, yeah, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.